Hello and welcome to Versi Vision TV sponsored by Versitron. Once again I am your host W.R. Thomas presenting on topic. Fusion splicing and mechanical splicing, know which is better? Today we will be discussing below topics. What are different types of splicing? What is fusion splicing and its steps? Mechanical splicing and how it is done which splicing method is better? Different types of splicing which we will be covering today. Fusion splicing. Mechanical splicing. Let us know what is fusion splicing. Fusion splicing is a method of welding two different optical fibers following localized heating. Having said that, this seems to be a simple process, but it requires certain preparation. If not done properly, the signals may be affected. How will you proceed for fusion splicing? Preparing a fiber, put the protection sleeve on the fiber that you wish to splice. This needs to be done only to one fiber. These sleeves are available in various dimensions for your perusal. Next, strip the outer jacket of the cable using the nibbler. You can nibble the jacket in 30 mm segments. Strip the coating. Next, take off the coating of the fiber cable using a fiber stripper. This needs to be done in a perpendicular motion. Clean the stripped fiber. Clean the fiber by wiping it in a lint-free cloth. Move the wipe to the fiber end to clean any remnants of the coating. If the fiber is clean then it will squeak, which is an indication for you to stop. Also, avoid keeping this clean fiber in contact with any dirty object as it may impact its effectiveness. Cleave the cleaned fiber. Now comes one of the most important steps of splicing, that is cleaving. For this, you need to open the body cover of the cleaver, and place the stripped fiber on its v-groove. After this, close the cover and cleave by moving the slider forward. Ready your fusion splicer, make all the necessary adjustments on your fusion splicer and ready it for the process. Place the cleaved fiber in v-groove. While doing so, ensure that its tip does not hit electrode or cross it. Clamp it in place using the magnetic flap. Similarly, repeat all the steps from 1 to 5 for another fiber and clamp it on the other side. How will you proceed for fusion splicing? Ready your fusion splicer. Make all the necessary adjustments on your fusion splicer and ready it for the process. Place the cleaved fiber in V-groove. While doing so, ensure that its tip does not hit electrode or cross it. Clamp it in place using the magnetic flap. Similarly, repeat all the steps from 1 to 5 for another fiber and clamp it on the other side. Check for settings. The fusion splicer will move both fibers towards each other and you can see their image on the screen as well. If the fiber is placed too far from the electrode there are chances that you may not see them on the screen. However, if the fiber tip hits the electrode, you may see an error message. In short, this is the time to make all the necessary arrangements that you wanted to make. If you find a cleaving error, then it is an indication that the cleaving needs to be redone. Start splicing, if the cleaves are clean, then hit the set button and the splicing will complete. Add a protection sleeve, remove the clamped fiber and add a protection sleeve between them. Heat the protection sleeve, next, place the protection sleeve in the protection sleeve heater on the fusion splicer and close the lid to heat it. The sleeve will set in the place. Move to cooling tray, most fusion splicers come with automatic unit controls, which will produce a beep sound on the completion of heating. This is an indication that you need to move the spliced cable into the cooling tray. Mechanical splicing. This technique is quite unlike fusion splicing. Here, the fiber edges are aligned as well as locked using various types of optical cement and positioning devices. Glass or plastic alignment sleeves are used for creating optical cementing. These sleeves use index matching gel to hold fibers in place. The index matching gel helps reduce reflectance and loss. In this method, the fibers are not permanently fused together, rather held in place firmly. In next slide, let us know how is this type of splicing done? How mechanical splicing is done? First, the fiber is stripped of any type of coating and cleaned using a 99.9% .9 isopropyl alcohol. Next, it is cleaved properly using a cleaver and then splicing is performed using a commercial mechanical splicing toolkit. What splicing method is better? 
Fusion splicing versus mechanical splicing. Cost A fusion splicer is costlier when compared to a mechanical splicer. Also, you need to be trained to use this machine properly. On the other hand, mechanical splicers are less expensive, and you can handle them effectively, with minimum or no training. In spite of high initial investment, the cost per splice is cheaper with a fusion splicer than a mechanical splicer. This is because a mechanical splicer needs optical cement, which is usually expensive than the heat shrink sleeve used in fusion splicing. Effectiveness, if performed correctly, fusion splicing assures high effectiveness. It has lower insertion loss, less than 0.1 decibels, lower reflectance, and assures high performance. Fusion splicing produces a stronger cable and a better signal, and also has a lower chance of failure. Against this, the mechanical splicing has high insertion loss, which may typically range between 0.2 to 0.75 decibels and has a higher reflectance. Suitability Fusion splicing is perfect for single mode fibers, while mechanical splicing is ideal for multi mode fibers. Thanks for watching.